Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gold Technical Analysis session with Mukmik. So yesterday what happened was the gold falls down really really strongly as I said in my last video that the trend is now being the downtrend and we will be focusing on selling gold. Alright, so let's go straight to the charts and see what we can do for today. Here is the daily time frame. So if you notice, I do need to start with the daily time frame of every single day to see what happened yesterday. So the candlestick that we got from yesterday is a big red bearish candlestick. And what it tells us is that today's candlestick could be another bearish one. However, I do see that maybe the price might, you know, stick stuck somewhere here, okay? And it could be a tiny bullish one as well. However, one thing that it needs to make is this lower low, okay? So the wick needs to make a lower low because in order for the price to reverse back it will need to form the bullish reversal bar which needs this lower low all right and also the closing price needs to be higher than the yesterday closing price so it could be either this one or this one but surely it will make a lower low which is now making if you can see so the price has made a lower low at the moment but we will see in the smaller time frame to where where could it go okay in the daily time frame so are we still in the demand zone i would say yes we do all right so we have this demand zone here in the daily time frame and also we do have this significant support at 1760 all right why is that i'll bring you through so the reason that this one 1760 is a significant support for us today is that if you notice it used to be a support quite strong one as well because this support can send the price really really high okay so if it comes back down we might consider buy but i would say that buying gold now is very very risky even though we have this support because the price is now being in a downtrend as i said yesterday so Let's drop down the time frame and let's see if we got the plan in the smaller ones. Alright, so in the 4 hours time frame, do we have anything interesting? I would say not quite, but we do have this. Resistant at 17.90. So it used to be a support. If the price coming back up, it will turn itself into a resistant all right so let's drop down to one hour time frame maybe we will have some perspective the more beautiful ones so in this one hour time frame let me use my Fibonacci extension if you want to go for a buy this would be the song that you can wait for buying but i would say very risky okay because you will go against the trend if you enter at this point you will need to you know close the position really really quickly okay so that's the first plant at around 1760 what's about the safer one so i would say the safer plan you can wait for a q and buy what is q and buy you might need the price to make a higher high than this one so the price need to make a higher high than 1773 
somewhere around that and you can wait for the QM bot at around this point. That's going to be the safe plan. All right, so that's the two plans for buying this pen. Really, really risky. Please reduce your risks. And what about the selling plans? I would say I have this supply zone in this one hour time frame and also we have this resistant at around 1804-1805 somewhere around that and we do have our significant levels at 1800 all right so that's the selling plan all right so around 1800 1805 and also 1810 as well but this is going to be our first target so today is going to be fun <laughs> i hope you learned something from this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and also please click the subscribe button for us thank you very much if you want the confirming signals please please join me in the bubi project it's a telegram so we will send you the confirming signals in there in the past week it's been really quiet because the price have been in the sideway market but at the moment it chose to make the downtrend so we will have more signals you guys so that's the good news for today i'll see you in there bye